Why are regular expressions important? Regular expressions can greatly simplify uh, lots of common uh, code sequences. Like in, in many cases, you can condense like a hundred lines of code into a single line regular expressions. Regular expressions is just a language that describes a set of strings. So every time you need to match, uh, to, to test if a string matches a certain pattern, like does it, for example, is something an email address? Uh, or if you want to extract part of a string, like extracting, for example, all the words in a text mm -hmm. uh, or counting them um, or validating data, uh, regular expressions can greatly help in all of these cases. And they're usually much more performant than having a hundred lines of string manipulation functions. Sure. Now, is it one of those skills that kind of falls through the cracks? One of those things that it's worth doubling back to make sure that you've got that in your tool set? I think most, many developers don't focus enough on regular expressions because mm -hmm. they're considered uh, one of the least exciting aspects of programming. Uh, they tend to get excited about new APIs, cool stuff, new frameworks and libraries, and that's something that doesn't have lots of, um, it, it's not considered cool. Yeah. Now, switching gears a little bit, moving over to CSS a bit, do you think we'll get to a point where we don't have proprietary CSS elements anymore, or is that just wishful thinking? Well, that depends on how we treat the ones we have today. If we keep developing for, brow for proprietary features of certain browsers, for the same way people develop for WebKit-only stuff today, then yes, companies will still do it mm. because it, it, it helps them advance in the browser market, mm -hmm. and that basically hurts web developers. Remember what happened when we got a very cool browser with many cool, shiny uh, proprietary features, and mm -hmm. web developers got really excited about that browser and its proprietary features. They started using them, and then we got locked in that browser, and we got a decade of i6. Right. i6 was a great browser when it, got, when it was released. Ten years later, not so much. Yes. Right, right. Um, so last question for you. What is your process for experimenting with a new feature? What's the criteria that it has to meet for you? I guess the criteria is that uh, I usually want the feature to have at least one uh, implementation. It's really hard to experiment with something that's just a spec hmm. and doesn't have any implementations. And quite often there are specs that never get implemented. There's no interest from browsers, so they, they never implement them even though they exist for years. For example, there used to be a spec that defined how we can have multiple pseudo elements, multiple before pseudo elements or after pseudo elements, or an outside pseudo element, and mul or, or actually multiple outside pseudo elements. It was really exciting. Browsers didn't care, they didn't implement it. We had, we had to actually drop the, hmm. the features in that spec, because when there's no interest, uh, the, specs, the specs changes. Sure, right. Well, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate you taking the time. Thank you.